Hello and welcome to this video about PS Assets. In this video I'm going to introduce RAG reporting to you. So RAG reporting stands for Red, Amber and Green reporting and gives you a great visual idea of the data across all of your assets. In this example I'm going to show you how you can run a report on the liability for your vehicles by running a report and showing you that the mileage can be visualized. So in this example, what I'm going to do is, what you will see at the moment is a ride on lawnmower. And in here, what I want to do is show a report which highlights any issues we might have according to the mileage. Now, this is just an example to do with the mileage, but it's to give you an idea of all the things that you can see on a RAG report relating to the fields of information that you've got within PS Assets. You can run RAG reports for dates information, anything that matches, anything that's greater than or lower than. So in this one, what I want to know is anything where it's less than about 10,000 miles, anything that's higher than 10,000 but less than 100,000, and anything that I should be concerned about where the mileage is over 100,000 miles. So first of all, you want to make sure that your data is in there and the fields are set up. In this example, as I said, I'm going to be looking at this current mileage. So all I need to do first of all is go to reports, and then report builder. So RAG reporting, as you'll see it down there, relies on you having the report already built. RAG report runs from the report that you will have created within report builder. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new report at the top. And then if I scroll down, I'm going to look for my vehicles. And that's the only bit I need on there. So I'll click on next. And we don't want to add any filters at all. So no filters applied click on next and then in here what we need is to just include the fields that we may want to run in the future so to make this kind of future proof what I'm going to do is tick the box next to any vehicle type questions So in the future, if I ever create another RAG report, I know that I've got a report which ticks all the boxes with information relating to a vehicle. Click on Next, and then name your report. Now the only stipulation really for RAG reporting is that your report is updated by itself every night. To make it do that, all you need to do is tick somebody's name in this email notifications part. that's it then click on next and your report has now been created so now that my report is created I can go to rag reporting and now I'm going to create a new report by clicking new report and this report is going to be called vehicle risk and then click on next and now we select the report that corresponds to the RAG report that we want to run. So in this case, it's this all vehicle data report that we just created. Click on next. And now the RAG report part wants to know what field of information that we're going to be reporting on this time. So this is where you select which field or date that you want to run the report about. And in my case, it's the current mileage. And now we're going to tell the RAG reporting system what we're looking at. So we're looking at a value or we're looking at a date range. So in my example, it's just a value. And now we can create our labels. So these are the colors and the name of the columns that we're going to see on a chart at the end. So first of all, I want a green one. And the label for this one will be less than 10,000 miles. And now we add our criteria, which would be less than 10,000. And add label. So if we scroll down, you can see that we've now got a label which is called less than 10,000 miles. And the criteria is, is less than 10,000. So our next one will be greater than 10,000, but less than 100,000. And this one might be amber. And then our criteria would be greater than 10,000 and less than 
100,000. And then add label. So now we've got our two labels. One is less than 10,000, one is greater than 10,000 and less than 100,000. So our third label then is going to be red. And this one is greater than 100,000. And now we add our criteria, which would be greater than 100,000. And then again, add label. And all of our labels are now added and we can click save. So now our report has been created. We could view this, but there isn't going to be any data. And that's because our report that we created before hasn't yet been run. So now we're going to go back to Report Builder. And this is only because the report that we created was a brand new report. So you can see here that it's never been run. So we're just going to request that data. And now you can see all of the information is run. And now we return to RAG Reporting. And then in here, the Vehicle Risk Report, we can now click View. And that's our RAG report completed. So we've got five assets there with a greater than 100,000 miles. We've got one vehicle with less than 10,000 miles. And we've got two vehicles with greater than 10,000 miles, but less than 100,000 miles. And now we can see all of that data in a table. And of course, it's colored in in the same color scheme that we used within our chart. I hope you found that useful. If you do need any help or support, if you go to system help at the bottom of the menus, you'll find our help desk contact details. Beep.